So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. Because they are trying to normalize the devil. They are trying to populate. The devil is, is on main stage at award shows and in every video and yeah, signs and symbols. And that's because they are trying to normalize the devil. They are trying to populate. The devil is, is on main stage at award shows and in every video and yeah, signs and symbols. And I said, so we don't need them. You don't need them. You know, so what am I going to do to deal with these motherfucking gatekeepers? One thing we've repeatedly seen as a no-go in Hollywood is telling the truth, and that's why Mel Gibson's life might be on the line now. In case you're living under a rock and haven't heard, Mel Gibson is taking the fight to the higher-ups in Hollywood by exposing them for what they truly are. But unlike in the past when Gibson had to tell his truth through interviews and speeches, now he's found a more creative way to do it. And now virtually every celebrity that isn't a member of Hollywood elites is scared for the man's life. So what exactly has Gibson gotten himself into? And what are his co-workers saying about it? You know, you, <laughs> you have to choose what level of integrity you're coming in at. And I have felt the knife slipped firmly in between my shoulder blades and tried to have it shoved through the other side through my heart. I'm Over the years, several celebrities have spoken about the deep, dark abyss that is Hollywood. But one thing that has remained constant with all these stars exposing their industry is that they've had to face the consequences one way or another. And it seems that might also be Mel Gibson's case after his recent stand against the industry. See, a couple of days ago, Gibson started advocating for a new movie that touches on some of the unthinkable things Hollywood elites get into and basically exposes just how depraved most of the industry's top players are. Now, the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. Go see Sound of Freedom. It is a movie inspired by the experiences of Tim Ballard, a former Homeland Security agent who has latterly spent his career rescuing victims of human servitude. It tells the story of Jim Caviezel's journey as Ballard to Colombia to save a kidnapped brother and sister who have been seized by a woman posing as a model scout. However, there aren't many twists and turns. Normally, a movie like this is expected to be in the headlines of almost every conversation, but that's not exactly been the case. In fact, it looks like the people up top in Hollywood are doing everything in their power to make sure it doesn't gain any more ground than it has already covered. But even besides killing the film's publicity, it seems these elites are more than a little upset Mel Gibson is out here promoting proof of their inhumanity. And seeing how far they've tried to stop him, other celebrities are starting to fear that the man's life might be on the line because of the secrets the film exposes. The reason these people seem convinced the powers that be might be on the verge of making a move against Gibson is that some of them actually have first-hand experience of the same thing happening to them. One of the most prominent names in this fight against Hollywood is Dave Chappelle, and boy did he have it tough. Chappelle has constantly made it a point to talk about the intricacies of the industries and how he was basically blacklisted after he refused to conform to what was considered the norm by the elites. The actor and comedian spoke with James Lipton for Inside Actors Studio a while back. During the interview, Chappelle shared insights on the dismissive and sick culture within Hollywood, which allowed many celebrities to be dismissed as being crazy. He spoke about how destructive Hollywood culture can be and used a 1996 incident where Bad Boys star Martin Lawrence's 1996 ran into the streets of Los Angeles with a loaded gun as an example. Chappelle said Lawrence made me feel inspired any time that he was successful. But there was a dark side to his success. He explained that Lawrence had a stroke and almost died while the pair were promoting their movie Blue Streak. After that, Chappelle said Lawrence told him, I got the best sleep I ever got in my life as a result of being hospitalized. He continued, So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street, waving a gun, screaming they are trying to kill me? What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why is Mariah Carey making a $100M deal and then taking her clothes off on TRL? A weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. Ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. According to the comedian, in his case, it wasn't exactly his life these top cats went after, at least not to end it in the literal sense. Chappelle revealed that they pretty much took everything from him when he was tagged crazy by the media. And guess who's also been called crazy in the past, too? Yep, Mel Gibson. 
A couple of years ago, Mel Gibson was constantly making the headlines while he was battling alcoholism after losing someone in his life. And while the actor and producer did seek help, he was still largely thought of as crazy just so he'd be dismissed by the industry. It seems that might have been his origin story because it was shortly after this that he started his battle against the higher powers of Hollywood. A couple of years ago, Mel Gibson revealed the dark side of Hollywood and accused it of being involved in ritualistic child sacrifice and other unthinkable things. At the time, a viral post that had been shared over a thousand times revealed Mel Gibson exposing the parasites of Hollywood involved in wrongdoings of various degrees. As per Boomlev in the post in question, Mel Gibson said, Every studio in Hollywood is bought and paid for with the blood of innocent children. Key players in the movie business perform sacred rituals that are sick and totally at odds with the moral fabric that binds most patriotic Americans. The worst part? It's an open secret in Hollywood and everyone wants in on it, Mel Gibson allegedly added. And while the media tried its best to erase every form of evidence that the actor had already been on to the elites, now there's a whole movie confirming what he was trying to say more than a decade ago. Coincidence? Seems more like fate. According to Jim Caviezel, the lead actor in the Sound of Freedom movie, the moment he showed Gibson the movie for the first time, the actor and producer was weeping at just how badly things had deteriorated in the industry. This is also why people believe that the industry might be willing to go to any lengths to gag him, as they have with others in the past. But even with how badly they've tried to paint him as crazy, some people have always been on his side, and one of those people is Robin Williams. For those who may not know, Robin Williams is an actor and comedian that Mel Gibson once rejected to work with while he was still alive. But that didn't make Williams give up on the producer. In fact, at a time when people refused to work with Gibson, Williams was one of the only people that defended the actor by saying that he was a gentleman, but not without flaws. Stating that drinking brings a different side of a person that even they are not aware of, Williams found peace with Gibson when no one else did. No, that's another side of yourself that you don't even know, and I would say that, and he said afterward, you know, I mean, he's repentant and said all those things, and I, Mel Gibson, wasn't there. There is another person who appears, but even besides Williams, supporting him directly. There have also been a couple of stars who have the same view as Gibson does of the music industry. One of those people is Denzel Washington, and just like Gibson, he has also repeatedly criticized the industry and especially the top players of Hollywood who make it seem like they are better than everyone else. Using the life he's lived up to the point he currently is, Denzel spoke about how people in Hollywood are constantly arrogant toward people outside the industry because they believe they are better than them. According to him, when it's all said and done, we're all still human, but Gibson's movie actually puts into perspective the extent of these people's inhumaneness. And just like with Washington, Ice Cube is another celebrity that seems to have felt the wrath of the industry, or should I say the elites of the industry. Ice Cube, who is largely known for his involvement in controversial matters, has also spoken about the powers that be in the entertainment industry, and how even he has had to deal with them at some point. The rap veteran and founder of the Big Three Basketball League took to Twitter over the weekend to air his grievances defiantly stating that he refuses to be a part of their club. Some of you may not have realized that I'm not part of the club, Cube said about those he believes to be controlling the industry behind the scenes. And a lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either, he added. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of their F asterisk asterisk king club, it pisses them off. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. You know who they are and they definitely know who they are. In fact, the rapper cum actor has sworn that he plans to do a podcast tour specifically exposing these lies. Now, if these many people are aware of just how horrible the industry is, is it really far-fetched to think they'd be willing to take out Mel Gibson and the entire team behind the movie if they're on the verge of exposing them? Personally, I doubt it. Well, people on the internet also seem to think that's the plan of the higher-ups. One person wrote, Epstein was the last one they killed, and with how big that blew up, they've resorted to kidnapping that celebrity and lobotomizing them. They've had to switch up their tactics since COVID, and I think COVID was part of the cover-up. Let's hope history doesn't repeat itself on these people who want to save the world. That's it for this video. Goodbye.